It's tempting for us to define ourselves by what we have or who we know, but what would life be like without the people and things that really matter in life? This intriguing question formed the theme of a brand new dance production presented by the Junkar School of Dance. Founded by Dr. Ranjit Lalu in 1986, the Junkar School of Dance has played an active role in promoting Kathak in South Africa. Not merely in its classical form, but also in a variety of innovative contemporary interpretations. Dr. Lalu first began organizing and teaching community dance groups and he continues to play an active role in day-to-day -day activities and the annual productions. These are always eagerly awaited and this year was no exception. Designer and stylist Sandhya Lalu Mora picks up the story. This is Jankar's 30th dance production. So it's a really big milestone. This year's production is called Without. We want it to be focused on the little things in life, you know, things that we, we take for granted. It's like our friends, our families, uh, what would life be without music, without dance in our lives. So it's just not about the latest Bollywood dance or the latest film craze. It's about going through your emotions and we want the audience to feel something. Our dance space is Kathak, which is a North Indian style of dance. So we all go through a syllabus of learning technique which is like a ballet dancer would learn technique. So that's what we do in Kathak. And then we break off into the actual choreography for the show. Dr. Lalu is a qualified medical practitioner, but his passion for dance dates back to his school days and it remains undiminished. We were thinking, let's celebrate, but I said, we did that five years ago. Let's reflect on what life means to us. Many dancers have been students of Dr. Lalu for a number of years. This continuity lends polish to their performance. This is some of our principal dancers that have been dancing with Jankar for almost three decades as well. What makes these ladies so amazing is that they have full-time careers and families, and yet they have time to dance. Girls, don't you want to just show how versatile dancers we are? We'll show them some of our cool steps, and I think we need a good rehearsal on that one one piece that we're doing. The school has become known for its inclusive approach and openness to new ideas, with Kathak being interwoven with other contemporary styles from East and West. With every move imprinted in their muscle memory, the dancers could face the first performance with complete confidence. Now that's it from us and our team. I think we're done rehearsing. We're going to go and get dressed for the show. Rehearsals are just one part of the preparation and lighting plays a major part in creating the look and ambiance of each scene. This keeps lighting designer Shanil Lalu very busy. In the show we use special effects to enhance the performances even more and bring the audience into the performance as well. And um, the lighting changes the whole mood of the stage, it brings out the costumes and it makes the costumes glow and that's, that's totally amazing, I, I love that part about it. The synergy of lighting and costume makes the show entertaining for performers and audience alike. Hairstyles and makeup are no less important, and creating the costumes is a mammoth undertaking in itself. This all formed part of Sandhya's creative input. So we have so many costumes for the production. I think there's close to 400 pieces that I've designed and styled. This is our opening dance costume. We've got belts, everything is pinned into place. I like working more on detail of costumes. These are little head pieces that I've made. Everything is pre-done and I measure the distance between each of the stones so that each dancer looks exactly the same. There's so many aspects to costume when it comes to show business and it's just so fascinating and I just love working with it. You can see the amount of detail on the costumes even from the stage. <laughs> Unaware of the last-minute backstage preparations, the audience settled down for another spectacular Junkar experience. Between
between items, we chatted to some of the senior dancers. Without has such a deep meaning, it's a broad concept. Some of the pieces, like darkness, could be taken literally, no light, or it could be darkness emotionally. <laughs> We have managed to incorporate dance styles of Kathak, Bollywood, ballet, contemporary dance, freestyle, and this has been beautifully put together to depict the theme of the show without. <laughs> I've been privileged enough to choreograph um, these young teens. For me it was pretty challenging because you have to keep it relevant to their age group. You need to make it for them. They need to feel the dance so that they can enjoy the dance. I have choreographed the small ones. It's the little ones, the first years of the school. I feel that this is a stepping stone of their career, is we have to get them focused and willing to learn about dance and light that spark at this tender age in order to develop them into a professional dancer one day out there. It takes a lot to put a production of this size together. It's not just dance. There's so many aspects that bring the show together. We couldn't do this without our teachers, our audiences, with so many talents other than dance. It comes together. Thank you, Mela, for joining us on this wonderful journey. It's been 30 years. We hope to carry on for another 100. And it's been just wonderful having you with us on this journey. <laughs>